Hey friends, it's Vicky. Welcome back. It's been quite a few weeks since my last upload. I have just been taking it easy. Hope you all are doing well and okay given the circumstances. For today's video, I wanted to do a fun little makeup vintage inspired look. I wanna uh, dress up like one of the Peter Pan animated movie mermaids because they're super cute and I love them. I wanted to do this mermaid look for the summer, um, but things happened, um, so yeah. So I didn't, but you know what? Halloween is right around the corner and not that any of us can really go to any parties or trick or treating or anything this year, but um, we can still dress up at home and just watch like Hocus Pocus on Disney Plus all day, so. So yeah, in the spirit of Halloween that is like right around the corner, oh my gosh, this year has flown by. Um, I'm gonna turn myself into a vintage inspired Peter Pan mermaid, specifically the gal with the lily pad on her head. She is like my favorite one. So, 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 so freaking cute. Okay. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the makeup, but I also DIY'd like part of the costume, I guess, like the headpiece and the starfish. So let me show you that part first. Okay, so starting with the lily pad headpiece, I used pink, green, and yellow felt, a pen, scissors, and some hot glue, and also a good old hair clip. Starting with the green felt, I took my pen and lightly traced out a green circle, which I then cut out, and I also cut out from that circle a triangle to mimic the shape of most lily pads, because they have that kind of slit on them. And from the pink felt, I traced out a bunch of leaf or teardrop shapes, which I also cut out. I don't know how many of these I did. I just did a bunch until it formed like a nice full flower on top of my lily pad. Doop, 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 petals everywhere. Then once I was done cutting, I removed those and glued them all back in place. Okay, almost done. Next, to add a little pop of color and detail, I took some yellow felt and cut out a bunch of little thin strips from that, and I glued them on to the center of the flower. And this was just to mimic the stamen, I think it's called. I don't know, I'm not a botanist, so that thing that sits at the middle of the flowers. Gave it a little trim, and then I was ready to add the clip to the back. I glued it on, and then I cut out a green circle out of felt, and this was just to secure it onto place, just to make sure it doesn't like fly off or anything added some more glue to that and yeah and there you have it a lily pad headpiece next it was time for the booby starfish that's what we're gonna call this now booby starfish the <laughs> to make the starfish bra oh my god someone come take me away from this microphone i took two paper plates and i traced out some stars with my pen and I cut those babies out. You can obviously always make this out of something much more durable, but I mean, for me, I just wanted it to be a really cheap and easy like DIY. So yeah, this is my method. Once I had my two stars cut out, I took some orange and red paint. I mixed those colors together to get a nice starfishy color, and then I painted my starfish. I let the paint dry out for a bit and then I took some yellow paint and I added dots all over the starfish to add some dimension and some extra texture just for an like just for some more pop and I wasn't gonna wear these just like this no no siree I got a fishnet from the Dollar Tree which I tied and tucked into my strapless bra so yeah I kind of just took the whole fishnet folded it and tied it from the back uh, as you can see there. Tuck the top into my bra like I said and then I use tape to stick these on but you can obviously use something more sturdy like velcro if you're gonna go out with this or even like I would even probably like stitch these onto the net if you could. Okay now to complete the look with the hair and makeup. I already did my foundation off camera so I'm just gonna go straight into the eyes. I'm a little bit tan. Tan right now i've been like trying to spend more time outside this summer but not these days actually so we are um in lockdown as you know and then we have the fires in california which now makes us not even be able to go outside to get sunshine because the air quality is so bad i'm gonna go in with my trusty primer but peter pan mermaid has like very simple makeup just like the lips but i wanted to play a little bit with like the mermaid colors so, like with bluish greens and purpley pinks so we're gonna do that with the eyes. So I'm taking my NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow and um, let's see, I'm gonna take like the sea green or blue 
green, blue, and apply that all over my lid. Actually, I, this wasn't even the brush I wanted to use. So, see, this is what happens when you don't do videos for a while or your makeup. You just forget how to do everything. Taking this purple, and I'm gonna blend it into the crease. Ooh, hey, this kind of reminds me of my Jasmine makeup look. Eh, it's kind of mermaidy too, whatever. So as you can see there, it's like nice and iridescent, pretty looking. Is iridescent the right word? No, like gradient-y. Now I'm gonna take my J-Cat glitter in Mystic Wave, very fitting, which is like a bluish glitter. And I'm gonna pat that over the blue. Whoa, that is sparkly. I have not used eye glitter in months. This is really fun, fun, fun. Oh, I forgot some napkins. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll wipe it on my pants. Do my eyeliner with the pencil and then the liquid liner, just like a little wing. Nothing too, too cray cray, cause well, I already have quite a bit going on. Do some liner at the bottom. Maybe I'll do a little bit of liner in the waterline just to dramatize it a bit. All right, finally just conceal because uh, yeah. Oh, hey, I forgot to do my eyebrows. Huh, see, I'm telling you, it's been too long. I'm like forgetting the process or like my routine, the way I do my makeup. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. At least I remembered. Oh yeah, and also <laughs> mascara. <laughs> oh my God, wow. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out now. You don't have to be looking at my nose hairs all the time. There we go. Tour and um, ooh, contour and highlight just to bring some more color back into my face. Um, and yeah. For the lips, I am going to, um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take the Bessemer Cosmetics Water Lily Blossom Red, very fitting, um, that was based off of the Peter Pan movie. So they based their collection off of that film. So I'm gonna line my lips with a pencil of a similar color and fill them in with that. Now I'm moving on to my hair because um, this mermaid ain't gonna go out with rollers. Actually, this mermaid ain't going out anywhere other than to lay down on her couch. I'm not really even gonna brush it out. Kinda just gonna leave it like that. I know that the Peter Pan mermaid that I'm basing this look off of has like straight hair, um, but I wanted to be a little bit more like 40s-ish in style, so I went with more bounce and wave in my hair, but I am gonna do the bangs that she has. I could either do bumper bangs with a bumper rag thing, hair rat, or on my own. I think I'm gonna do it on my own. So I'm taking front strand of my hair, curling it in, and then, I don't know, like pinning it down? Let's see how this looks. Oh, ooh, yes, <gasps> it worked. So like there's a little swoosh right there. It's not perfect, but at least it like gives the illusion of like bumper bangs kind of. <gasps> That's really cute. I really like that. Ooh, I haven't done my hair like this in a really, really long time. I love it. <laughs> I miss going to Disneyland. I'm just taking some pomade that I stole from my husband and I'm going to rub it on. To the top of my hair. I think I put too much on. Uh oh. Oh well. And brush just the top half down to so make it more flat so my hair won't look too, too le poofy. Okay. Now all that is really left to do is just put on my little accessories that I DIY'd. So my lily pad. I'm just gonna clip it on to the left side. Yeah, I think that works. And now I'm just gonna put the starfish net thing on but off camera. Okay, I'll be right back. This is the final look. Cheap and easy little DIY to look like a cute vintage Peter Pan mermaid. I'm gonna change actually because I'm pretty bashful and um, I feel weird like just sitting here in this specifically, so. I'm gonna go put something else on. Okay, much better. Not that I don't love the costume or that there's anything wrong with wearing your shellfish bra. I, I don't know why, I just felt a little weird, especially 
angles and everything. I've missed you guys. Kind of weird not to be creating like a weekly video for me, like for my own sake. I'm just so used to that and I'm like used to always like hustling and having like a lot to do and I know that some of y'all have reached out and are like, hey, we miss you or like what's going on? So I'm okay. I'm just trying to take care of myself and like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, you know, my mental health and whatnot. I'm trying to just um, with the state of everything in the world and um, just going through this period in my life where I'm just reassessing and thinking a lot of things and trying to um, better myself. So yeah, I'm just taking my time, which means probably a little less time here, but still have videos planned i'm not i'm not leaving as always i want to thank you guys so so much for your love and support if there's anything that i could do for you if i can pray for you um in any way i know that a lot of us are struggling so much more than ever right now so if there's anything that you would like for me to pray for for you like you can let me know down below or you can always also personally message me on instagram if you'd like um i feel like it's the least that i can do um for folks so yeah i'd be happy to include you in my prayers and, and yeah times are hard praying for each other is the least that we can do or actually it's a big thing we can do so as always i'm sending you guys a really really big virtual hug remember that i love you i love you i do and yeah i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye <laughs>